So now I have my limo studio lighting. It's going to replace my super green screen background lighting. Hopefully this is better than this. This was on an umbrella. See redneck uh, green screen lighting. So let's unbox it. Okay, so when you open up your Limo Studio lighting system, link below with two umbrella lights and a fill light, you get, of course, your light bulbs. These are 45 watts. Um, it says it's a 600 watt system, so I'm guessing these fluorescent bulbs produce more output than what they consume. Um, here is your light bulb carrying case. Of course, the boxes fit in there. You have your limo studio stand case. This is one of your um, taller stands for, say, your umbrellas. This is a shorter stand here for a fill light. And here are your lights. Each one has an umbrella mount even though for your fill light you will not use an umbrella. Then it comes with this nice little pamphlet showing you how to do some assembly. And they send you a card and they want you to of course contact them if broken or problem during shipping. Extended legs. This mount here can mount either on the bottom or on the sides. It just slips over the top here and away you go. Installation of this is really simple. Forgot, a umbrella light kit would not be complete without umbrellas. So here's the umbrella, there's the other umbrella. There's the carrying case for the limo studio poles. Here is the carrying case for your light bulbs. Three of them fit in there nicely. These are empty boxes. Right here is where I put my fill light. So I actually did put an umbrella on this one. This is uh, from Redneck Light. This keeps the light from shining over the top of my PC. It reflects on the, off that wall, adding fill light to the front. There's Red net green screen, that's $8 in material from Walmart. And then I have these lights. So I have them pretty high up. You must see how well it does in. I may have to tighten the bottom of my green screen because I got some wrinkles down there. Now I've got each one reflecting off the wall. I want to keep the light off where I'm sitting here. So, step back. That's the light fill. I may need to bring them down some, but we'll see how that looks. And then this is, uh, I'm guessing this is my uh, hairline light. We'll call it hairline light slash cooling fan. It's got a big cooling fan on it. So let's see what it looks like now. Okay, so this is what my lighting looked like before. I have my overhead light and I have the window letting in ambient sunlight. So let's see how the limo studio looks. Got the uh, fill light, which I'm using on the front. And then I have two umbrellas on either side. So, there it is. Definitely some definition between me and my green screen. In fact, no shadows at all. I started getting shadows there about six inches away from it. Really ready to see how this thing looks when I put up some 
green screen. So let's do it. What should we throw up here? Magical, mystical pixie dust. Space, ocean, whatever. Now let's do it without the limo studio lights. Let's go through the same scenes. Now it's good. I can see my shadow from here on the green screen. Not good. So let's go back. Limo Studio. Now I have the uh, front fill light on. So hopefully I have more filling from the front. More filling. More lighting on the front and still no shadows. In fact, when I put my hand back here, I see my shadow on the wall over there. So, it's awesome. So, if you like this channel, subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button somewhere down there. Thank you for watching.